This past Sunday morning, a man took flight from right here in San Diego and is attempting to become the fastest ever to fly across the country. But what exactly he is flying is what makes this story so intriguing. Here's Jake Ariani. There's never been a record of actually flying from one coast to the other. There has always been something about aviation and aviators that have wanted to push the limits. We're gonna try and make 300 miles in a day, and that's pretty extensive. Harley Milne is attempting to set a world record by flying coast to coast across the United States in the shortest amount of time. I mean, it's a daunting task. It's 2,200 miles. Most of us might only fly 50 or 80 miles on a given flight. We're going to try and do that all day, every day, um, in two weeks. Oh, did I mention he'd be doing it on a paramotor? During a trip in Asia that I discovered the sport, I was reading a magazine on, on a flight and I saw it and I was like, I have to be doing this. And six months later, I was taking lessons. Almost a year ago, Milne became the first paramotor pilot to fly in all 50 states. It is about, you know, showing our sport and where it is uh, in, in aviation overall. Um, but I, I, I think there's a much bigger picture. And of course, there are dangers in flying across North America on what's essentially a glorified fan. Our hands are here when we're flying to control the glider. So the wind chill factor, um, very quickly you can lose all the sensation in your fingers. Being aware of uh, other aviation hazards, um, fatigue, um, you know, landing, takeoff and landings. So there are very clearly some risks. Harley left right here from San Diego and will end his trip in Florida, hopefully as a new world record holder. Some people run away from things that, that are challenging or difficult and other people run towards it. I think aviators fall into, we, we run towards it, we want to make a difference. I'm Jake Gariani, News 8. That's awesome, Jake, thanks a lot. Harley expects to land in Crescent Beach, Florida in about two weeks. You can follow his journey and learn about the veteran charity he is supporting on his Facebook page. And you can track his flight in real time on this Garmin website. Godspeed, Harley.